Uh, let's see, depopulation. Yeah, there, there are some people who would like to reduce the population of the planet. If you go outside the city of Atlanta, go east about 60 or 70 miles to the town of Elberton, and then go north on Highway 77 about 10 miles, you'll find off to the right what's called the Georgia Guidestones. It looks kind of like Stonehenge, these big, huge granite rocks set up there. This was done by a guy, we have a pseudonym, came in, paid cash, had this company set these things up in 1980. He called himself R.C. Christian, uh, but that's not his real name. It says it right on the stones, a pseudonym, false name. On these Georgia Guidestones, it gives the Ten Commandments for the New World Order. Ten Commandments for the New World Order. The, fir the first commandment was to maintain humanity under a half billion. I went there and looked at those things and said, now, hold on a minute. Today's population is six billion. They want to maintain humanity under one half billion. Looks like a lot of people got to die for their plan to work, which is, by the way, the plan. As Jacques Cousteau said, we'd have to eliminate 350,000 people a day. A third of a million people a day would have to be eliminated to save Mother Earth. Uh, Bill Clinton said we need to reduce the population of the Earth to one billion. There are a lot of folks who would like to reduce the population of the Earth. The Bible command is quite the opposite. Be fruitful, multiply, replenish the Earth. You know, God said, go fill it, have a bunch of kids. The Bible says he designed it to be inhabited. So, no, it's uh, absolutely the opposite of what God wants. How does Margaret Sanger tie into overpopulation in this uh, whole propaganda? Well, Margaret Sanger was a, a tragic uh, individual. She uh, believed in, you know, reducing the population of the earth using birth control, uh, using homosexuality, using just about anything other than doing what God commanded to be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. So Margaret Sanger uh, started a group called the Planned Parenthood, which many people have heard of. They are one of the key people today in, uh, in the abortion industry. I mean, absolutely murdering. Uh, nearly 5,000 people a day are being murdered by abortion. So Margaret Sanger, we have her largely to thank for that. Other factors, of course, are involved too. But, um, yeah, it's really sad. I'm sure she's going to answer to God for, for what she's done with her teaching. She taught uh, that inferior races like blacks and Jews and Hispanics really need to be eliminated she wanted to set up her um, uh, birth control clinics in these lower class neighborhoods, people that she thought didn't deserve to live, and slowly, you know, get them sterilized. Or, you know, she was really involved in the eugenics movement, which became very unpopular by World War II because Hitler took the obvious conclusion. You know, Hitler was the ultimate evolutionist. I mean, if evolution's true, then you find the uh, find those superior race. Though Hitler thought, of course, was the blonde-haired, you know, blue-eyed Germans. And, or Norwegians, and said they're the superior race, so everybody else should be really slowly executed, starting with the Jews, and then he had blacks, and on and on and on. Yeah, Margaret Sanger is a tragic person uh, in history, and, and what she did is <laughs> much worse than Adolf Hitler. Hitler only killed like six million. Margaret Sanger and, and her type with the abortion industry are responsible for killing a thousand million. That's a billion people.